palm your tax dollars? Your tax dollars at work, I love that. Okay, let's see. How important or necessary is the support of the fans? It's very, very, very important. Um, the fans have kept us going through a lot of dark times, a lot of uncomfortable times, and also made us feel really good about when we do things well. So um, it means everything to us. Otherwise, we're out here alone, and we're porn talking on the street. That's the stuff that keeps us going. I can tell you, the cheer that went up when that flyover happened, that kept us going for hours and hours. It was great. I hope you can hear this over the horn. <laughs> um, has this strike changed you as a writer, and has it changed your world, world view? And what role do you think it will have on your writing? Uh, I don't know that how it's changed me yet, because early on. But um, I'll tell you how it's changed my world view. I realize how important it is. I mean, I know that I get residuals now on broadcast television, not internet, because other writers took a stand. Everybody in this picket line today is out here so that we're taking a stand for the next generation of writers so that they're not shafted by the internet and they can make a living. Uh, it's just, I don't know that it's changed my worldview, but I'll tell you it's reaffirmed my worldview because I really believe we do, we do the best when we work together. How can the fans let the CPDB know that they support the WGA? Oh, everything you're doing just reinforces it so far. Just uh, the messages of support, if there are questions you have about the issues, let us know. Let us know through the board. Uh, tax Dollars at Work has been great about that. Just um, uh, keep any questions coming. Expressions of support are very welcome. They mean a lot to all of us, and I share them. I get a lot of emails from fans, not all the writers uh, have email out there for that, but I do share the messages I get. Yes, I so appreciate these questions. This is great. Uh, do you have much support from the other people in the crew, like wardrobe, makeup, etc.? Yes, we do. In fact, just before we started this, that was uh, four of our wardrobe people in a car, stopping out here, honking the horn, wanting to talk to us. We miss them. They miss us. We all want to get back to work together. That's We're a family. You know, we've been together a long time. Not just my uh, almost five years on the show, but uh, this is many of these people have been here since the pilot, seven and a half years. We mean a lot to each other. Uh, and once everyone gets back to the table and the agreement has been reached, how long will it take to get new shows back on the air? That's a good question. We, uh, I think when we stopped work, the next episode being prepared was episode 12. And I think that was only in the outline stage. It would probably take easily two to three weeks before we, we have a, a script and everything ready to go. Casting and sets built, locations determined. So probably two to three weeks until we can start filming. Sorry, just need to load the next week. Do you frequent the boards often? No, I don't go on. Um, I know some of the right. I don't know if any of the current writers do. Um, we get the messages. I mean, I get a lot of direct emails, but I don't go on. I'm, I'm, I did. There was one when I wrote Butterfly. One of the forums sent me flowers. It was the first time a CSI writer had received flowers. They were the other writers actually got a little jealous, and because I was a freelancer, <laughs> and I did go. I think I went on that board that time to thank them, but. Really, believe me, we get the gist of the words loud and strong. <laughs> Pro and con. Um, if the production is stopped, how many employees would lose their jobs? Over 200 people would be out of work. That's just directly here. That doesn't count everybody at the network, everybody in promotion, and everybody worldwide. You know, it's not just uh, in the U.S. But our show goes to networks all over the world. It's the most watched show in the world. And each of those networks has employees that depend on our show being there. And what's preventing the two sides from meeting? I don't know. 
You know, I just, you know, I sold real estate for 14 years. I negotiated a lot of deals. If there was someone, if, if, if you had a buyer and a seller in a real estate deal and they wouldn't make a deal, there was almost always a way to make it. It usually came down to money. But there was always a way. I did know that if you don't sit down and start talking, you're never going to make a deal. And we want the AMPTP to come back to the table. They've yet to respond to any of our proposals over months of offering proposals. Their only response has been simply to walk out. That's not negotiating. Sarah Goldfinger. Okay.